it again. Listen now. to the sound of the engine. Now, keep your eye on the telemetry the, in the green circle. The number five, that's the gear. Look how, look how low the revs are going. Yeah. The telemetry, the clutch didn't just explode. Well, the clutch is okay as long as it's, if it's stuck in bit, but when he leaves the pits, it goes a tremendous strain on the clutch. Yeah. Right? And of course, here he must have to back off going down the straight. You'd normally want to take another gear here. Right, so, so he has to watch his so he, has, so he has to feather it. Which means he's very compromised on the straight. Steve, during this episode, was the team giving him gaps to those behind? Yes, they were on the radio to him a lot. How Michael was coping with this afterwards, he explained to the team that with his experience in sports car days, running with the Mercedes Group C cars and having to figure out how to conserve fuel, Schumacher got a lot of experience of trying different racing lines around the circuit to reduce fuel consumption to the absolute minimum. We looked at the telemetry after the race, and sure enough, as a byproduct of Schumacher trying these different racing lines, the fuel economy actually did improve on the B194 around this track as a result of him trying different racing lines. And of course, he probably ran in the higher gears as much as possible to keep the revs down and again to help with fuel consumption. There we just see Damon Hill We're on board with Hill. Taking Schumacher for second, back on board the stricken B194. It was, it was group C. I was taking part out just right around that time, and of course you you had to try and stretch your fuel enormously. So you did take these funny lines, and obviously gears.